Now to an NBC2 investigation about disabled veterans facing delays in getting their travel reimbursements. They are designed to help poor veterans afford to travel to clinics far from their homes. But as NBC2 investigator Andy Parati explains, cutting through the red tape can take months and possibly delay treatment. Big Cypress, deer, cougar, bear, John Galson, raccoon, possum, lives miles from civilization. I haven't seen too many armadillos lately. A few months ago, the Vietnam Air Force veteran had to drive 73 miles from his Everglades home to the Fort Myers VA clinic after experiencing hearing problems. Red color. I couldn't hear conversations. It was worse on the phone. He drove back and forth three times. The VA promised to reimburse him about $171 for travel. Five months later, no check. Galson had to postpone his treatment because he couldn't afford the gas. It, it, it was money I did not have to spend, let's put it that way. Galson isn't the only one complaining. While the Fort Myers VA clinic doesn't specifically track travel voucher complaints, others do, and we found signs delays are increasing across Florida. For example, veterans complaining about non-reimbursement at a North Florida clinic increased more than 900 percent from 2008 to 2010. The VA says it can take two months or more for veterans to get reimbursed. Why does it take so long? It's a uh, part of the uh, process which is out of uh, our control at uh, the Bay Pines. Associate Chief of Staff A.J. Dewan says there are two big reasons for the delays. An out-of-state facility cuts the checks, his office doesn't. And requests for travel reimbursements has dramatically increased because of the economy. From 2006 to 2010, requests jumped $6.3 million. And they don't call you back. It took you to do it. Gausson got his money shortly after we called the VA. Five months uh, will definitely be a special or a unique situation. I mean, we don't believe that that's the usual or that reflects our usual processing. One never knows you lost something until all of a sudden you refer it to something else. Veterans needing help fast, facing delays by a system that's supposed to serve them. The VA says it's looking into possibly getting veterans reimbursed the same day they drive to their appointment. The current clinic isn't designed to do this, but the associate chief of staff says if a new clinic is built, it will be. We asked for travel voucher delay information from other areas of Florida and are still waiting for those numbers. Andy Parati, NBC2. All right, thank you, Andy.